Hello and welcome back to my series of videos about old calculators. The last time I was showing you this box here, very nice box, wooden box, called the Jeffers calculator. And inside you can find a lot of uh, sliding tabs here. And this was mainly used for farmers to calculate the feeding for the cattle. So for each strip of paper here, it's a different food. And um, you have wheat, barley, whatever. And uh, for each one, depending on the weight, the cattle, you can calculate how much you have to feed them daily. So that was a very nice idea. Very nice design. I love the box. Um, but not very practical because, well, the farmers were not uh, I mean, that was in the early 1900, and the farmers would prefer using the old uh, family method. But today I want to switch to something else and um, talk about slide rules. And uh, for those of you old enough, this is very familiar. This is a slide rule. Um, this is based on the concept that uh, we can use logarithm for numbers so uh, each number can be attributed a specific logarithm and then instead of adding the numbers you multiply the number by adding the logarithm well it's a little bit complicated when i say it but basically the idea is that you have to you have to select one number here and then with this movable section you select another number and when you look down you have the multiplication of those two numbers. This was, this was very popular um, until I would say the 70s when the small calculators, electronic calculators showed up. But before that, that was a tool used by all the scientists, engineers all around the world. In fact they used that to send uh, a man on the moon. So. Not too bad. Uh, I like this one. I mean, this one is a, a Russian one, and you can really see that it's made of wood. And uh, well, this one has my age, so it's an old one, very old one. Um, this one here is a little bit new, newer. Uh, you can see that it's bigger and it's made of uh, some kind of plastic. It's not wood anymore. But I love this one because it's a very special one. If you turn the slide ruler over, you have a mechanical calculator here that you can use to verify maybe the numbers on the other side, whatever. But this is mostly for addition and you have a couple of conversion here. But these are slide rules and you can see that you are limited by the side the size of the slide rule here maybe around one foot so you can put so many numbers and the graduation can be so much detail here so you're limited um, the next one i want to show you is an evolution from this one and it's called a circular slide rule so give me a minute i'll get it okay let's get it clean up a little bit the table and let me show you first how it was delivered so oh, this is a very nice box um, very 20th century um, look at the details here on the side we don't make those box anymore like this so when you open the box you find a cylindrical slide rule and if I take this one so first of all everything is made of wood and uh, it's a very nice feeling when you when you touch it it's it's very nice and when you look at the, the slide rule you realize that there's a bunch of graduation here a few tables here and some index so basically the idea is that instead of having one foot slide rule we're going to put all the graduation around this big cylinder and we have the equivalent of a 20 feet slide rule so then you can move this one 
to, to put a number in front of the index, you have another index here. And it's not really complicated to use it. First, you have to set a number in front of this index here. Then you have to move this index here to the zero position. And after that, you move this cylinder to the second number. So here, it's not a good example, but let's say that the zero position is here. I move this cylinder to the second number, and I have the result in front of this one. And if you look um, at, the, at the slide rule here, you can see that it's very well made, and you can even extend that to have more numbers to do more calculation. And once you're done, you put it back together, you store that, and you put it back in the box where it should be. So I am missing a small component for this slide rule. It's um, a small holder that fits here, and it's supposed to hold the slide rule in this position. So you, when you look at the slide rule, it will be like this. I don't know if you can see. And um, I, I need to find this, this part here, or I can make it. But anyway, so a little bit of history about this one. This one is called Stanley Fuller. And I think it's confusing because you don't know if it's Stanley is the first name, or is it one guy, two guys. Well, in fact, the inventor of this uh, slide rule is Fuller. His name is Fuller. And he was working for Stanley, this guy here, in the early 1900, uh, late 1800. So the, the invention of the rule, if you look at the patent, is 1879. So late 1800. Uh, Fuller is the, the inventor, and Stanley is the guy who had the factory, and they were making a lot of uh, uh, instrument to um, for engineer, architects, etc. And uh, the name stayed, you know, Stanley Fuller. And now if you look for one, you will look for Stanley Fuller. What I want to add for this one is that it was a very successful uh, commercial thing because they didn't sell a lot of them, maybe um, something less than 14,000 because I have been looking at all the serial number and 14,000 seems to be a maximum, but they sold them from 1879 up to almost 1970. So almost 100 years and same design, same uh, uh, rules here, except that they added a couple one. Uh, they changed the fabrication. This one is made of wood. The new one are made of bakelite, but it is basically an instrument that has been sold for 100 years. And if you can find one, you know, it's, it's very, very nice. But look at this number here on the, on the bottom of this wall here. And this one will tell you that this has been sold in 1941. If you look at the small number, the smallest number, 41 is 1941. So I'm very happy. Um, it's like a 70 years old instrument. Still very nice, still very uh, conversation maker, you know, when you put that on the table, a nice box like that, it's very nice. And uh, if you can find one, take one. There are not too many for sale, but um, th this is a very good investment, I think. So thanks again for listening to those videos, and uh, next time I'll try to find something else. Maybe I'll go back to the electronics one. <laughs>